The purpose of Advent is to help us examine our hearts carefully so that we can understand the meaning of God's sacrifice for us. Everyone should take possession of the message of John 3.16. God so loved me that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God kept his promise about the coming of the Messiah to our world. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9, 6. So tonight, we will again light the candle of the prophets, or the candle of hope, as we will commemorate the birth of Jesus which is the fulfillment of our hope in the promises given long ago. The Virgin will be with the child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. We will also light the candle of Bethlehem, or the candle of peace to remind us of the peace that comes from the birth of the Lord Jesus, according to the prophet Micah. He took the form of man, so he knew the feelings of men, including their joys and sorrows. Angels are messengers chosen by God to announce the imminent birth of Jesus. An angel said to Mary, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You listen. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Luke 1, 30-31 To Joseph, this is what the angel said. Do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Matthew 1, 20-21 When Jesus was born, an angel appeared to the shepherds and said, Don't be afraid. I give you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Luke 2, 10-11 How did Mary, Joseph, and the shepherds respond to the angel's revelation to them? They gladly accepted the revelation and obey God's will. According to the word of God, Luke chapter 1, verse 38, And Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. Matthew chapter 1, verse 24, When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. And when the angels had left them and gone into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see these things that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Luke chapter 2, verse 15. Tonight, we will light the candles of angels or the candle of love and let us understand that God revealed this love through the birth of Jesus which was announced by the angels, not only to Mary, to Joseph, and to the shepherds, but also to us and to all people. May we, like them, welcome and believe this revelation. It is written in God's word, Yet to all who receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. John 1.12 This verse teaches that receiving may be more important than giving this holiday season. When you accept Jesus as a savior of your life, you will experience the true Christmas gift. Therefore, Christmas is indeed 
every day. Uh, let us pray. Thank you, Father, for enlightening our minds so that we may recognize your greatness as we build in the peace of Christ. Thank you so much for your very valuable gift to us, your Son, Jesus Christ, and in his name, Amen.